Francium is working with a third-party company to develop a mobile application for customers and partners. One of the features they would like the application to support is placing an order. To enable the developers to provide this functionality, Francium will use Boomi's API feature. The API will allow for orders to be placed in their ERP system and provide access and control metering, giving Francium full control over what the developers in the application have access to. Creating APIs in Boomi is quick and easy with our configuration-based approach. Today, we'll be creating an API that allows Francium to create sales orders in their ERP system, which can be triggered outside of the Boomi platform. Similar to how we repurposed our integration process for the EDI in Mass Data Hub demo builds, we can do the same to turn a Boomi process into an API. Creating APIs this way with Boomi in simple terms is a two-step process. First, we'll convert it from a batch-oriented process to a web server by changing our start shape. Web services server connections must be the start shape. I'll allow Boomi to make the recommended changes for me and keep the action to listen. Next, let's configure the operation. The operation represents the incoming payload from API requests, which is in conjunction with creating a sales order. For our operation type, we can change that to create, and our object will be create sales order. For expected input type, I'll select single JSON object and create a simple profile. From here, I have the option of importing a JSON file to automatically build my profile, or I could do it manually myself. For demonstration purposes, I'll manually create a simple profile. Every ERP is different, so the structure of this profile will vary per the ERP's requirements in terms of what is needed to generate a sales order. But once the profile has been created, the configuration of our web service is done. Moving back to the build canvas, I can delete my Salesforce shape and then update the map to reflect our new source profile. Again, I'll be using Boomi Suggest to automatically generate my mappings. Next, I'll click the blue new button in the top left corner to create a new component of type API. And for the API type, that will remain API service. Now begins the configuration of our API specifically. First, give the API a name, version, and description, and then establish what your base API path will be. The full URL of our API depends on the location we deploy this service. So our main focus today is the endpoints that retrieve data. We have the options of defining either a REST, SOAP, or OData-based API, but today we'll be creating a REST-based API. The various layers of the Boomi platform work together as we've seen in our other demos. When it comes to creating the various endpoints for our API, I have a few options. I can import a service file or service URL or I can ultimately leverage an existing component like the web service process we just created. So by using an existing process, I've turned my web service into a REST-based API endpoint. Through this, the platform does the rest of the work for me. But let's review what was automatically generated. My resource path, HTTP method, and input type has been automatically defined. The profile we created to handle the incoming requests has also been attached to this endpoint. The process we just built is meant to create a sales order, but that's only one endpoint. With the same steps we took, we can easily build more processes to act as additional endpoints. Rather than creating a sales order, we could build an endpoint that queries all the sales orders along with adding search parameters as well. But for now, we'll just stick to one endpoint. From here, we can move on to the API management layer of the platform by navigating through the services tab. Boomi API management provides the ability to create and deploy a gateway in order to route traffic, configure plans for API governance control, and handle authentication either with the Boomi platform or a third-party authentication provider. Let's jump into the self-service developer portal and take a look at the API that we just created. The home page of the developer portal can be customized and shows us all our available APIs. Here, I have the ability to subscribe, authenticate via an API key, and use the APIs directly in the Boomi platform. 